What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the newest Adobe Premiere Pro update version 23.0 and walk you through some of my favorite features. Now let's get started. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Now, some of the main features in this update are inner and outer strokes for the graphics, flexible alignment controls, and bulk edit titles in the timeline. So one big thing to note is the legacy titler is no longer included in this update. Everything is done through the graphics tab in the graphics workspace. So currently we're in the editing workspace. So we're gonna come up here to the workspace drop-down menu, click on it, and as you can see, it's highlighted editing. Let's go down to graphics. Grab the type, I'm gonna type in here, I'm just gonna type in test one. So you can either come up here and grab the selection tool and we'll just center it. You can also center it through these different alignment tools here. Let's head down here to the fill. So the change part is with the stroke. So you have the fill, which is the white lettering. You can also add a stroke, which we've added, which is like a bright green. You can also raise it, lower it, however you like. But the big difference here, if you come over here to the drop down menu, you have outer, inner, and center. This talks about the stroke of where it's gonna bleed from. So currently we have it from the outer. So when we raise it up, you can see it grows outward. Go to the enter now, and if you raise it, it grows inward. So you can see if I drop it to one, which is the lowest setting, and as I slowly raise, it bleeds towards the center. And then there's also going evenly left to right from the center, which will raise it this way. And I know it looks the same as the other. When you come over and change it to from the outer point, it's gonna be larger because it's going from the outer part of the line outward. I'm gonna bring that down more reasonable. Another new feature here is you can add another stroke. So come over here where you see the plus icon, add stroke to this layer. And then come over here and let's change the color so it's more obvious. Let's click a red, click OK. So now you'll see the red on the outside of the green. Now it's not going from the outside of the green, if we raise it, it's going from the outside of the letter. So hence, if I go back to the green, if I grow it up, nothing changes from the red. And if I make it disappear, red goes from the letter itself, not from the green stroke. You can also remove the second one, the red line if we want. Come back here where it says minus, remove this stroke, click remove. Now you're back to the traditional stroke. Now let's talk about the flexible alignment control. So within this same layer, I'm gonna grab this and move it up here. And I'm gonna grab the type tool again, and I'm gonna do another one. I'm just gonna do test two, and I'm coming down here and do another one, do test three. So let's just say we make these like this. There we go. So the thing that's different now is you can't do it when only one is selected, but you wanna select all three of them. Get the top one, which is test three, go down to test one, hold down shift, that'll highlight all of them. Now, if I wanna center them, you can see here where it says aligned video frame as a group. So now we're gonna move these around as a group. Where it used to be aligned to the video frame, if I click here and click align center vertically, it puts them all together, which is what I don't want. I'm gonna undo that, come back down to the aligned video frame as a group. So if I align center vertically, they'll move together as a group. If I align center horizontally, align to left, align to right, back to align to center, they all move as one unit. That's the new feature in the align control. So I'm gonna delete that, I'm gonna delete that. So let's move this over here and let's just change this to, let's just say we're doing titles for people. You guys, Bob, get the type tool. Let's do another one. Let's do Dave and then let's do one more over here. And let's just say her name's June. So now we have the three different people in three different types, but they're all still the same. So let's change Dave. Let's make it so that is a red outline. So obviously that's not around red. And let's make June. Let's do a turquoise. So now we have the three different colors three different names. We want the ability to bulk edit all of them at the same time. Now, if you have a long section, a big interview process with a bunch of different people and different names, different titles, and you decide you wanna make a change to all of them, instead of individually clicking on them and adjusting them, you can literally lasso them together and do one bulk change. So let's just say we want the inside, instead of the white, say we want to be yellow. Click OK. And let's say with the stroke, we want it to be, we want the stroke to be white. Say okay, and actually say we wanna, we wanna raise it up a little bit. Let's make it really big. So now if we cut back and go to the center, which is the Dave, it's the yellow fill with the white stroke. And then the same thing, if we go to June, yellow fill, white stroke. 
So instead of going and individually each person, each title, each name, adjusting it, you can lasso them all and change in a bulk single edit. Now, some of the other features that I like in this update is when you import motion graphics from After Effects, it'll now use multi-frame rendering for a faster performance. And the other update that'll really benefit me is the speed acceleration with Lumetri scopes. They now use GPU acceleration, which will help the performance when you're working with Lumetri scopes, which I do a lot as far as color correction and adjusting certain things. Other changes are when you're working with motion graphics from After Effects, when you import them now, now it'll work up to two times faster as far as the performance and the rendering. The next would be the AAF support for Apple Silicon. And for anybody using the RE Alexa, they now have support for the RE Alexa 35 camera. And that's also including RE RAW and ProRes capture formats. Now, these are all the main updates in 23.0. Now, once again, if you enjoy watching these videos and you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Later.